Hey guys, Jeremy here. Welcome back. We are in, well, I haven't showed this room too much on this channel. So this was going to be a dedicated bicycle room and I was just going to have like all the bikes in here. At one time I had 13 bikes in here, but we've since updated it and uh, there's my office space. I've been looking for a surly long haul trucker for a long haul while and can't find any used. But this gem came up and this is a surly trucker deluxe. 58 centimeter frame, so nice decent size, 26 inch wheels. The reason for that is the Trucker Deluxe is actually a come apart bike. You see it's got these things here, these are SS couplers. One here, one here, and I can actually thread those off and the front half and the, the, the front half and the back half get separated. This bike is designed to fit into standard size airline luggage and it actually came with the specific bicycle box. So in theory, I can take this bike, break it down, put it in a box and I don't have to pay any oversized luggage fees if I want to fly with this thing. That's the reason it has 26 inch wheels because I think 700C just gets a little bit too complicated to try and make that compact package. When I bought this bike, it was just a frame. And so I put a bottom bracket on there, put a crank set that's not gonna stay, picked up these um, Soma Dream Bars. So I'm interested in trying those. I was gonna put uh, my needle noodle bars, but I want this to be a country rambling bike like my dad bike was, but that bike was so heavy. And to tell the truth, I just didn't ride it much. Obviously this being a Surly, it's a, you know, basically better than any other bicycle brand in the world, in my opinion. And so we're just going to pillage all the parts from that Lumekuahara Apollo. And we're going to morph everything onto here. And uh, I'm excited. So let's get this thing started. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully everything's compatible. And uh, basically, yeah, got the frame used. They only made this bike for about four years, if I understand correctly. Uh, these aren't going to stay. I was just goofing around trying to make some of those crazy bars, but they actually flare out too much with this. Unless I put them more there, but then I'm like, I don't know. We might, we might fiddle with this, but anyways, let's see if we can get this thing rideable. And then I've got a new Surly 8-pack rack I'd like to put on the front. And then I've also got a Surly rear rack that I've been, you know, just been kicking around for about a year. We're going to put that on there and we're going to have a really capable, very comfortable bike. I'm excited. may or may not work, sometimes it does. Sometimes you can just push the pin back in. Sometimes it's too tight, but I always figure it's worth a try. That looks good. Maybe. 
Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Some Paul Fummies. some generic Shimano Dior levers in the parts bin. It'll do the job. Okay. Oh yeah. So these are the cable housings off of the drop bars that were on that other bike so these will work great it's like the perfect length and i'm going to reuse these cables because i can keeping this a real budget This right through this little hole. Perfect. Shifty bits. Oh, that's exciting.
right, let's see. Oh, yes. This is uh, quite the upright riding position. As you can see, very, very upright. Very comfortable, actually. I love the stability of a long haul trucker with such a long rear end. This thing feels really good. Shifting fairly well. Oh, it's smooth. That's smooth like butter. I think I should take this out for a little ride and see how she does. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, one thing I never mentioned is I made this this big, huge aluminum riser. Seeing as this fork is uncut, I'm just gonna leave it for a bit, play with it. Obviously, I could cut it down and keep the same upright position, but I always like to leave my forks uncut for, I don't know, sometimes forever. My last long haul trucker, I never cut the fork. I apologize for the noise. It's kind of rush hour out on the freeway, but um, yeah, really happy with how this thing turned out. The only things I had to buy for this build were these bars, the brakes and oh brake cables everything else is reused i also put a rear view mirror on here uh dorky for sure but you hear that traffic i go right on that highway and we got really big shoulders like a full car length shoulder so it's fantastic but i just i like knowing what's going on behind me and uh sometimes those little mirrors off your glasses i find that man i'm always adjusting it but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, like I said, just a very laid back kind of a country rambling bike. Um, should have plenty of clearance for my panniers should I decide to use them, but to be able to throw on some, some picnic chairs and food and probably gonna put a basket up front because that's kind of what you do. But uh, yeah, the frame feels really good. Nice size for me. Again, this is what I was going with. I didn't want drop bars because I've got a lot of drop bar bicycles and I just want something that's kind of upright and comfy. Oh man, I like this thing. It feels so good. One of the reasons why I love Surly bikes so much is their frames are just so smooth. Like this thing just feels phenomenal. Oh, I also had to buy a new headset. I didn't have that because it didn't come with it, but um, I put that in before the start of this video. But anyways, Thanks for watching guys. We're gonna we're gonna head on, on a ride here soon. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll ride it a little bit and do a little follow-up, see if there's any things I tweak or change, but just thought I'd show this and uh, I love watching people build bikes. So I figure I may as well do it myself. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. This is comfy. Like this. Ah, uh, to me, this is what a bicycle should be. Just comfortable. This is this is a blast. The leaves starting to fall here, in southern Alberta. Man, oh man, I like this bicycle. I'm gonna go ride and get the mail right now. I just gotta go get the mail key, but great bike. Dudes.